Ah, the world is a great, big, beautiful place, and I never get tired of traveling all around it, checking out new places, having new adventures. And this week, we're in one of the most beautiful spots on Earth, the southern coast of Spain. The region is Andalusia. The town is Malaga. Today, we're going to experience some of the art, architecture, culture, and cuisine that make this part of the world so great, here on New Ways to Play in Malaga, Spain. For centuries, Malaga was a port city that was the envy of many a civilization, and therefore a site that was set to be conquered. So what do you do when you're bound to be attacked? Well, you build a great, big, huge fortress on a hill, an impenetrable castle. Fortunately, this one now invites you in. This is the 14th century Hirofaro Castle, and it crowns the top of the hill overlooking the city. The road that leads up to the top is long and winding, and if you feel like walking, it will certainly help keep you fit. Otherwise, there are buses that run from the town center. Wow, this is... This is really impressive. This is the very top highest point of Gibraltar. Keep in mind that it, it comes from an Arab dialect and it means basically top of a high mountain. There are courtyards everywhere. And from this courtyard, perhaps the best view of all, the bull ring is right there. The beaches are over there, the port over there. There's even a cruise ship that's in port right now. You can see everything from here, which is why you gotta come. Well, after hiking all around the city, you work up an appetite. And when you work up an appetite in Spain, you're gonna want tapas, or basically appetizers. But the beauty is you can make an entire meal out of tapas. And when you're in Malaga, you can find tapas bars or restaurants everywhere, including Bodega Bar El Pimpe. There are an endless variety of tapas to choose from and hundreds of places to find them here. So what I like to do is stroll the streets, stop in a couple of places, do a little tapas testing, and then move on to the next one. Call it tapas bar hopping. Remember, there's a very Mediterranean feel and flavor to the southern coast of Spain. Thank you. And then I got two tapas. I got one, I think, that's part of the fun is you can't, well, I don't speak perfect Spanish, so I never quite know what I'm getting, but I think I ordered one with, uh, Oranges, uh, oh, that's gonna be the ham and egg, perfect, ham and egg, okay. And then that's the oranges, raisins, and carrots, ooh, and pine nuts, too. That's wonderful, this is gonna be great. And then, of course, you get bread and crackers and things like that, and I'm sure that's what they're waiting to bring right now. So this is a great way to start the day. Mm, thank you. This is one of the other more famous tapas bars or restaurants here in Malaga. It is La Calle de Bruselas. And I can see right over the umbrella it says uh, suggested tapas. I'm going to find out what they are. That is so good. Check this place out next time you're in Malaga. One of the things I love to do whenever I go on vacation is leave the main area that I'm staying at and go on little side trips, little day trips. Well, in this case, we're staying in Malaga, but we headed up into the mountains and wound up here in the city of Ronda. This is a city made famous by Ernest Hemingway and Orson Welles. In fact, this was their summer city. We're gonna show you why. This is a town that still retains much of its ancient charm, its quaint traditions, and has got to be one of the most beautiful cities that I have ever seen. In fact, Hemingway loved this city so much that he spent summers here and used Rhonda as the setting for many of his novels. But the thing this city is most famous for is this. This amazing bridge rising over 300 feet from the canyon floor below. Tens of thousands of people walk across it every day. And if you took any NFL football field in America and dropped it over the side, it would still not reach that river. This is Puente Nuevo, or if translated, New Bridge, even though it was built back in 1751. This massive structure took over 42 years to complete and spans the El Tajo Gorge. Visit any great European city and you're sure to find a shopping area that blends old storefronts with new merchandise. This is Carrera Espinel, the Rodeo Drive of Ronda, a perfect place for browsing, dining, or simply sitting and watching the world go by. 
Ah, the sights and sounds of being on vacation. I never get tired of it. We started in Malaga, we wound up here in Ronda, and we had a great time all the way through. Hope you did too. We'll see you next time on another edition of New Ways to Play.